So, hello, good evening, everyone. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Sneha from Stanley Medical College, who is area plexus English course student and who secured All India rank 84 in the recently conducted uh, INSET examination. Hearty congratulations, Sneha. How are you feeling? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm actually overwhelmed, and I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty great right now. Okay. So, uh, hearty congratulations to your parents and family members, everyone, like once you saw the rank, like what are your first feeling? What, what's your first feeling? And how did you, uh, if you, if I ask you to describe in one sentence, what did you say? I think I got it. I'll say I got it. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Can you describe your journey in short? Uh, when I say journey in short, like how did you, how was your preparation? How many hours you usually uh, use for videos, MCQs and all? Okay. So I actually uh, went uh, for, uh, I actually started preparing like uh, before, even in my university thing, I think, but I was not very confident about that. Then after my completing my internship, it was around June. So after completing the internship, I joined the course around July. So I took it uh, serious when it was July alone. Uh, before that, I had done MCQs. I had watched some videos and all, but I was not fully prepared. Then I used to come to class daily. And I used to attend every lecture as as much as possible. And I used to read it uh, that day or next day, how much ever possible, as soon as possible. And uh, solving, regarding solving questions, I solved around uh, like uh, daily. I used to, uh, starting, I start, started around 10. Then it was like 20. Then at, at uh, present, uh, I started uh, 50. At a stage, I used to do 50 in the morning session or 50 in the evening session. That was my maximum. And uh, during exam times around, I just kept revising the PYQ alone. I didn't solve any new questions um, much other than GTs. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, so is for you, like when you say that, like you have attempted like mostly MCQs and daily on an average, you will be attempting starting from uh, 10 to 20, you went up to maximum of 100 questions, but may you made sure that uh, every day you attempted multiple choice questions. Yes, sir. I just made it like a hobby, like around 10 minutes, just I'll take it around 10 minutes. So if I take if more targets, I don't, I'm not sure I will there, I'll be able to achieve it. So when I keep it a minimum, I'm sure I will be able to achieve. And that was actually good. I think that was actually making it better than keeping it 100 or uh, 50 at a point. So small targets and achieving this, that gives the satisfaction and consolidating yeah. them and then keeps you move, move forward. Yeah. And Shneha, there might be many factors which might have contributed to your success. But if I ask you to pick up three most important things, what will you pick? I'll first of all say notes because whenever I have a note, I feel confident. First of all, notes is very confident to me. Then a second, I would say my GT scores, but gradually improved. Like I gave around only six GTs in this past uh, thing. Then a mock, I gave one, one or two mocks I gave. So totally eight, we can keep it around. So first was notes. The notes was very concise, actually. I did have some online resources and other or not, but like uh, these notes this were very books. concise. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. ADR Plexus workbook was very concise to the point. So I did not need to have a second book and all. There right. used, people used to say we have to keep it a second book, but we didn't have a lot of time. So this November regarding. So I think just highlighting was enough uh, and we didn't have not a lot of extra things and all. So workbook was very uh, confident. It gave uh, confidence to me. Then GT. Attending GT, whenever I felt low or I didn't feel like studying, I used to uh, give a test. And I used to see my performance. So uh, that time I'll feel, okay, I'm actually lagging again and I need to improve. So that will give me a boost. Then third thing, third thing I should, I will say is that coming to class actually kept me in a pace. I used to see how people are attending classes, how people are actually uh, being there, putting a lot of effort. And I don't know whether uh, when I'm in home, I, I will not be able to do that much. So when, when I came to live classes and all, it was actually a boost to me. It was actually a different environment that got me together. So these three, I'll say, is topmost. So this area plexus workbooks, which helps you like a one point revision thing and which can you can considerably quickly revise. And um, yes, sir. second, attending the classes regularly, which that that environment uh, motivated you a lot and attempting the yes, grant. Yes. So this is like uh, the mindset is very important. As you said, like uh, when you are down or when you are low or when you are not so confident, attempting the grant test and knowing where exactly you stand and consolidating those mistakes um, keep you moving forward. That's fantastic, uh, Sneha Peska. And uh, so how do you feel about? And I would like to add one point. Yes, and uh, yes. we used to have this leaderboards, no sir. Yes. Like we have to, we keep practicing. Like 
within this second we have to do like yes. within 35 or 40 seconds actually i think we were we had an edge over others because we kept solving like those questions so i think uh, we had an edge over others regarding yeah. that so uh, this later votes like you know like uh, as you said like attempting in 35 to 40 seconds we devised and we religiously do this because for two reasons one yeah. it helps you to compete in a real time and second is uh, in the examination you might have experienced this usually for any question if you give like one and a half minute or one minute time anyone can uh, most of the people can answer but picking up the clue in the shortest time possible like um, when, the, when we keep 30 yeah. seconds or 30 reading minutes, those full questions and uh, yes. solving those answer actually initially it was very frustrating to be frank yes. because the questions were also a bit uh, lengthier but then we actually got into rhythm it actually made us got into the rhythm so we got into it we have to we are compelled to do that so i think it made our exam a bit easier than maybe other things Fantastic. That's what like later boards and we are happy that like later boards help you and uh, see when you see like particularly I know set examinations, this previous year questions and attempting grant tests help you like and uh, how much time you spent on the previous year questions and uh, how did the ADR plexus grant tests help you? I actually think uh, ADR plexus notes was almost every, it had every PVQs in there yes. and it was actually mentioned by the faculty so I had a you know, like I felt I had something, so I don't need to go keep searching for PVQs, PVQs, PVQs. That was really good. And I think uh, the grant test was like, uh, it, it had all the things mixture. So it was not very tough, not very easy. So it uh, actually gave a kind of real stimulation like you should see, you know. Sometimes we'll feel bad and we'll leave it off in the middle. So, but it did not happen like that. Great. I'll say this once again, sir. I'll say this once again. Yeah. Um, actually, the grant test was a mixture of everything. So I will say that this uh, actually stimulating kind of a real exam. And uh, this leaderboard, we had 25, 25 in the last the target number. Uh, we had, had something. So that was also like it covered basically like every corner. So we were given a different view from each thing. It's not like uh, when I keep reading notes, I keep reading only one thing. But when I do leader boards, it have actually gave us uh, another point of view. So I think, uh, and uh, the explanations were also to the point. So I used to, you know, you can uh, revise the grant test easily. So not like taking too long to say, uh, spending a full day on the grant test, rather than just uh, doing it and revising it fast. So we could able to actually revise the grant test, what we have actually given. So it's like whatever mistakes you have done, learning from those mistakes and consolidating them so that you won't repeat from the, in the next any of Yeah, the yeah. It actually, sometimes we used to leave it in the middle. Like it is too long, it's taking too long. But actually it was concise, so I could actually completely revise it, see the paper and uh, see what all topics have come. So next time when I'm reading that, I'll make sure I just go a bit extra in the topic. Yeah, great, Sneha. And uh, how did you revise? What is your division strategy and like how you use it to revise the things? Uh, so I, uh, what is, um, the, I'll take a minute. Yeah. yeah. Take um, your time and uh, once you are ready, then. Yeah. So I actually uh, revised, uh, I completed my portions around uh, lay, uh, October 15 or something only. In the meantime, I did not, I did not like completely keep on studying or completely keep on revising. I just kept revising a bit and bit. So I would not, I'll be on track for revision also. But at the same time, I had a lot to cover also. So I actually completed my whole portions in the October 15, uh, around October 15 or 16. Then after that, uh, I had uh, some 15 to plus 5, 20 days I had for revision. Yes. So what I had planned was last 5 days, I was like, I have to go through everything. I have, I've kept a mistake note also. So whatever mistakes I'm making in GTA or whichever I'm finding like, okay, this is a good point to remember and I probably will forget. So I had a note of that also. So I thought only that question I'll read in the last five days. So any other extra points which I'm getting or like some important topics uh, like uh, teachers mentioned in the class, I would do it in the last five days. So next 15 days was my full revision. Uh, so I gave a longer, bigger subjects and all. I gave only one and a half days. Whatever I could do in that one and a half days, that's all. So I have to keep covering everything not stating a same point. So that was my idea. Fantastic. So this learning from mistakes is something like which helped you a lot, like uh, the, the effort which you put it, like immediately. I mean, obviously, the, the thing is, <clears throat> when you 
make sure that all the mistakes you made were consolidated obviously you your performance will be better on any day that's fine fantastic yeah. neha and finally like what is your advice to your juniors or colleagues who are going to take the future examinations like neat or inss i say i would say uh, adr plexus workbook is more than enough just uh, no need to look for another resources first workbook is enough then uh, just adding to it leader boards and other things which we revise in the test that's enough i feel uh, then uh, i will say keep attending gts gts at a regular interval people some people will say too much of gts some people will say less i think you should know like if you are doing lot of mistakes silly mistakes you have to keep gt and if you are less in time management that's what more important in inct i think that made the rank decide this time so time management has to be given more important i felt i didn't manage time a quite a bit so if i if i wanted to repeat first i would have focused on time management that would have been my first strategy sir uh, then what i would say is you have to keep revising not uh, like you should not keep separate day for revising and separate day for leading just keep it doing side by side in the evening i feel dull so i'll keep revising or i'll keep some seeing some videos like senior g sessions where also know there sir so I'll keep seeing some videos so i'll either passively read or actively read if the point is you have to keep reading that's it so you have to keep on increasing your hours incrementally not like too much stress too much bur- burnout so you will just stop reading one day you will just keep on increasing uh, day by day and either actively if not possible uh, not possible at least passively you have to keep reading that's what i will say sir you have to just keep going till the last that's it <laughs> fantastic now so like just to consolidate like um, the adr plexus workbooks uh, enough uh, revision and like uh, sticking to that and adapting as many gts as possible depending upon uh, the how many mistakes you are making and the pace and uh, learning from mistakes and um, giving more importance to the process than just than the result and the end result and like daily keeping on moving ahead so this is a very valuable point sneha and uh, finally like um, one question in this examination like how many questions you attempted and uh, how many do you think that uh, you got if you got right or how many questions you left yes sir i think i needed to mention that also because uh, i think uh... i attempted around 187 in a section okay. i attempted really uh, i attempted around 49 in a section out of 50 i attempted 49 i thought it was easy but actually it was actually difficult only but then i had attempted 49 in a session so i just i can't have a liberty of leaving one or two in the next session so i totally i attempted 187 to uh, to be i think yeah 187 so each session i left uh, i had a choice of two to three per session only two to three if possible all i uh, let up next session i lead four or five that was my strategy and i think i carried out good and um, what i would say is um, uh, sorry sir i uh, can you please. just repeat the question yeah, yeah, i yeah um you want me to repeat that you question? asked about the uh, yes sir yeah yeah so uh, what um, sneha like when it comes to the examination there how many questions you attempted and how many questions you left and uh, so how do you feel like this yes sir i attempted around 187 sir so i uh, what i had in mind was like with the uh, Uh, part there were four parts so each part uh, around two to three was the liberty so if if that part was uh, very hard uh, maximum is five not more than five uh, so because i think uh, not attempting more than uh, 160 you'll never be in the competition right. i feel that way um, uh, gt is also i gave the same thing so i will know my mistakes uh, how i should improve my guessing i think i was very sure about only around uh, 50% of the questions i took uh, 50 50 chances for about a uh, 35 or something and i ruled out option for around 30 percentage or something so i think the paper was uh, moderate to tough because of the time management alone but some questions were direct repeat so i would ask them everybody to know about the questions first of all then read about the topic because we keep focusing about the topics if i get the questions sometimes they are direct repeat yeah. so first focus on the direct repeats then the topics and then the time management i think time management played a very crucial role in this exam sir fantastic neha so once again hearty congratulations neha and how did you feel about like um, every week like we keep come we every thursday we keep on coming and speaking about uh, this inss how did you feel about the sessions actually i used to come ahead i used to keep my alarm so whenever if i am studying also i will remember it 5 seconds 5 minutes ago so i'll put off my activities and i'll be waiting for that active uh, for the session and uh, i keep hearing till the end i know it, it takes a bit time only less, less extra time but i think uh, it 
someone was constantly checking up on me and someone was saying yeah you can do it just go just go how much ever possible it was like taking my hand and just walking yeah you can do it just go a bit so i think that session more than uh, the content i think the point of the sessions was to just making us go keep going and it actually helped really well i would say on my mm-hmm. point good to know that sneha that all um, help you once again hearty and congratulations last before you also we had a 6 am session also sir like i remember the like, day before the exam i, I was sitting I in chindigarh and doing same before so, ah yes sir 6 am that just the day before of the exam yes like it was a four cup remember, number i have never got up before 6 am okay yes sir so for your session alone i got up around that time and i was listening it was raining very badly there weather was very nice to sleep but uh, i just wanted to hear what were you saying and uh, those words were very really reassuring i would say so it's like uh, guiding us to every step of the way so i think that really nice good to good to know that sneha and uh, good to know that all these things helped you and like we played a crucial role in your success and uh, once again hearty congratulations to you your parents family members and all your teachers and uh, happy diwali and enjoy your vacation enjoy the moments and uh, we will connect with you and please feel free to approach like for any help in the counseling as well we are always there to help you out sneha yes sir thank you sir thank you okay sneha thank you all the wish sneha